light reflex already i have told in the previous video that the reflex includes five components what are they the receptor the afferent neuron the center efferent neuron and the effector organ if you have not seen that video kindly see the video on the reflex arc so in right reflex i will make it as simple as possible the light reflex the receptor is rods and cones present in the retina the afferent neuron is the second cranial nerve or the optic nerve the center is the decision making area is the pretectal nucleus of the midbrain that is one of the part of the brain stem pretectal nucleus of the midbrain if you tell midbrain we are happy for time being the effect efferent neuron from the midbrain the third cranial nerve carrying the fibers of edingar vespal nucleus towards a ganglia called ciliary ganglia the postganglionic fibers from the ciliary ganglia reach the effector organ present in the iris it is circularly present around the pupil so it's called constrictor pupillae or circular pupillae also called sphincter pupillae so this constrictor pupillae when contracts it will constrict the pupil it will narrow the pupil so the pupil will become like this the pupil will become really small whenever you throw light to the eye the pupil will really become small so light is a stimulus and the pupil becoming small it's controlling the amount of light entering the eye we don't want the retina to be damaged so the pupil will constrict so the stimulus is light and the response is constriction of pupil so there are two types of light reflex direct light reflex indirect light reflex the meaning of this is you put light to one eye the, the same eye the pupil constricts like this that is called direct light reflex if you put light on one eye and the opposite eye constricts opposite eye pupil will constrict that is called indirect or confusional light reflex why does this actually happen if you carefully note the afferent fiber that is the second cranial nerve optic nerve reaching the pretectal nucleus of the midbrain see here pretectal nucleus of the midbrain till then it's fine afterwards what happens from the pretectal nucleus you can see the pretectal nucleus of one side controls both the sides both the sides heading our vespal nucleus so what happens third cranial nerve both the sides will get activated so thereby edingar vespal nucleus fibers going along the third cranial nerve relays in the ciliary ganglion of both sides of the same side as well as on the opposite side both the ganglionic fibers will get activated so short ciliary fibers from the ciliary ganglion goes and supplies constrictor pupillae the traditional way of explaining of the light reflex is like this when we throw the light to the eye it passes through the cornea aqueous humor lens vitreous humor it falls on the rods and cones of retina from the retina it passes from the rods and cones to the bipolar neurons of the retina then ganglion cell layer of the retina emerging back of the eyeball as a second cranial nerve or the optic nerve optic nerve passes straight back and forms approximately 5 to 7 cm then it ends up becoming optic chiasma the nasal fibers decussate but the temporal fibers of the retina in the optic nerve will not decussate in the optic chiasma let it continues back as optic tract okay it will not end in the lgb lgb lateral geniculate body these fibers from the optic nerve bypassing the lgb lgb it won't go to lgb but it will go to this area which area the pretectal nucleus of the midbrain from the pretectal it's called pretectal because tectum a pair of superior and inferior colliculars this is a pair of superior colliculars lower down there will be a pair of inferior colliculars together it's called tectum okay in front of tectum we have the pretectal nucleus you can clearly see the pretectal nucleus is relaying on the edingar vespal nucleus edingar edingar vespal nucleus of both sides this is a very important point when it relays on both sides both the side efferent neurons will get activated the edingar vespal nucleus will get activated so it's important to note the center is making a decision to ending edingar vespal nucleus of same side as well as both opposite side so pretectal nucleus is a center present in the midbrain when the edingar vespal nucleus gets activated it's a preganglionic parasympathetic fiber it hitchhikes the third cranial nerve or the oculomotor nerve takes the information along with this third cranial nerve once it reaches the orbit through the branch to the inferior oblique muscle of the oculomotor nerve it reaches the destination the ciliary ganglia from the ciliary ganglia like a eyelash tiny nerves tiny nerve fibers tiny nerve fibers enter all around the optic nerve like this 
they are called short ciliary nerves similar to the eyelash it is there therefore called the cilia short ciliary nerves they passes they pass just underneath the sclera like this and end up supplying a circularly placed muscle like this the circularly placed muscle like this is called constrictor pupillae or sphincter pupillae so the ciliary ganglia via the short ciliary nerve supplies the constrictor pupillae or the sphincter pupillae so upon contraction these muscles which are spherically arranged which are concentrically arranged when they contract the pupil will narrow down like this that is called constriction of the pupil that is a response here constriction of pupil is the final response of the light reflex when you throw a light to the eye what will happen to the pupil it will constrict if the same eye where you are throwing the light for example right eye right eye itself will constrict it's called direct light reflex when you throw a light to the right eye and left eye pupil is constricting that is called indirect or confusion light reflex thanks to the pretector nucleus ending on edingar vespal nucleus of both sides hope this has an impact in learning to summarize light reflex before that kindly subscribe to our channel if you are not yet done and share this video with your other friends and help them learn to like this video and share this video and subscribe to our channel if you are new to our channel if you like the content in summary the light reflex receptor for this is present in the retina they are rods and cones that is a receptor upper end neuron is second cranial nerve or the optic nerve the center is the midbrain pretector nucleus of the midbrain the efferent is the third cranial nerve third cranial nerve oculomotor nerve carrying edingar vespal nucleus fibers that is a fourth point third cranial nerve the effector organ via the ciliary ganglia short ciliary nerves the effector organ is this one constrictor pupillae that is a effector organ so receptor is the rods and cones of retina afferent is second cranial nerve center is in the midbrain pretectal nucleus and edingar vespal nucleus the efferent is the third cranial nerve oculomotor nerve carrying these fibers via ciliary ganglion it ends in the effector organ constrictor pupillae what is the stimulus for right reflex obviously the light is a stimulus what is the response for light reflex the pupil will constrict like this so constriction of pupil is the response so stimulus and response are beyond these five points for light reflex light is a stimulus the response is constriction of pupil hope this helps thank you for watching and learning from logic medico kindly like the video and share this video with your other friends if you are new to our channel consider subscribing if you like the content thank you once again